Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Alessia and today we'll talk about the implementation and applications of Prim's algorithm. Let's see how Prim's algorithm works. It calculates the minimum spanning tree in a connected and weighted graph starting from a selected vertex. To understand the algorithm, it's important to remember that a spanning tree of a connected graph is a subset of edges that forms a tree connecting all vertices, while a minimum spanning tree is the spanning tree whose sum of edge weights is as small as possible. Prim's algorithm uses the greedy approach, therefore it makes the decision of what to do next by selecting the best local option without regard to the global structure. To be precise, Prim's algorithm repeatedly selects the smallest weight edge that will enlarge the number of vertices in the tree. Let's take this graph and try this approach. If we decide to start from the vertex A, we find more than one minimum spanning tree, but if we calculate the total weight, we can see that they are equally valid. Let's now take a look to the data structures we'll need during the development of the algorithm. We'll obviously need a graph with its vertices and edges. Each vertex will store its own value, its edges, an attribute for an eventual parent vertex, and a boolean attribute denoting whether it is already in the tree. We will also need a dictionary, called distance, which will keep track of the cost of adding a vertex to the tree and will be initialized to infinity. Finally, we'll need a priority queue, remaining, which will contain the remaining vertices to add to the tree. It can be implemented with several data structures, like arrays, heaps and others, but I use a heap dictionary. It will be a priority queue of all vertices of the graph, where each vertex's priority is defined by its value in the distant dictionary. Let's begin implementing the classes we'll need for Prim's algorithm. First, let's write the vertex class. We'll need the initialization function and another function to add edges. Second, we'll need an edge class. Finally, let's write the graph class. We will need the initialization function and another function to add vertices. Now, let's start the implementation of the algorithm defining the dictionary, the priority queue, and a variable to calculate the weight of the minimum spanning tree. Next, let's initialize distances and remaining vertices values to infinity, and then let's set the value for the start vertex to zero. Now, let's loop through remaining. First, let's pop V, the vertex with the minimum distance from the tree, and set its in tree status to true. If we are not in the start vertex, let's also add the weight of the added edge. Next, let's loop through these edges and let's check if passing through V to reach W, a vertex that isn't yet in the tree, weights less than the value saved inside distance for W. In that case, we update distance, remaining, and W's parent. When we exit the loop, we return weight. If you want to know which edges were chosen by the algorithm, just loop through the vertices and print their value together with their parents. Now, let's write a test class to check if our algorithm works correctly. In the first test, we will build the graph from the initial example and then we'll check if the algorithm returns the correct weight. Thank you. 
In the second test, we will build a disconnected graph and then we'll try to obtain the minimum spanning tree. The algorithm should return a weight equal to infinity. Let's test it. Everything's okay. Great. Let's now analyze the complexity of the algorithm through big O notation. We'll start with space complexity, excluding from our count the space needed to store the graph. As we saw before, for the development of the algorithm, we need two auxiliary data structures, one dictionary and one priority queue. Both of them have a complexity of O of V, Therefore, the space complexity of Prim's algorithm is O of V. Let's now analyze the time complexity of the algorithm. Since we implemented the priority queue with a heap dict, the pop calls will each take O of log V time as will inserting and updating entries. We will do one pop call for each vertex, so that's O of V log V. Additionally, on each edge, we might call one update operation, so that's O of E log V. Therefore, the total runtime is O of V plus E multiplied for log V. In this case, since we work with connected graphs, the runtime can be approximated to O of E log V. That's because in a connected graph, the number of edges is much greater than the number of vertices. Let's now go through some applications of Prim's algorithm. It can be used to design a broad range of projects, such as a road network linking small villages, a network of pipes for natural gas, an electrical grid, an irrigation channel, a fiber optic grid, and many other projects. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. The complete code is available on GitHub, and if you enjoyed the video and want to support me, like the video and subscribe. Ciao!